So today we're going to check out one of the coolest barn finds we've ever seen on the channel. Check it out. Welcome back and we're going to start right off of the bat here is that I had a friend contact me uh, over the weekend and he had just picked up a barn find which was uh, I, I could not believe how cool this thing was uh, it just came out of nowhere so uh, he got this contact he rolled over and got it and I said you know what we need to have you on the show as soon as we could we really couldn't sh set up like a live stream kind of thing for it so I decided to just record the call that we had uh, and share it with you guys unfortunately I screwed up and didn't have the microphone for my side turned on for the recording call because it was not our regular setup because of, it, it was it was a little bit convoluted but stick with me here so I didn't have the um, microphone turned on so you can't hear anything I'm saying but you're gonna hear everything he's saying I'm gonna try to do some voiceover for it as best I can, <laughs> but I want to make sure that you can see the context of the car and see how awesome it was. So, yeah, and this thing is, is you're gonna, that's going to be our thing for today, and I want you to check it out. It's going to be awesome, and hang around to the end because I, I, I'm I not sure what we're going to run into, but I think this is more than we think. So we'll see you then. So the first thing I comment on is Dave's new beard uh -huh. here. Not, not many people have seen that. Okay, let me but this is Dave around. Gallagher of Prestige and Elite Auto Detailing. All right, now ready? And here's the car. It's fucking dirty. And you know the cool thing about it? Watch this. You're gonna laugh. You're gonna freak out when you see this. Ready? You see what this is? So he pulls out this magnet, and it's metal, not fiberglass. So I'm freaking out right now. Pulls out. Look at that. Look at it. That's amazing, just all these different pieces that normally would be fiberglass or now, like you see this, they're actually metal pieces. That's good construction. This, majority of it's metal, yes. Um, and then what about this? No, this. All the grill vents in the window frames and stuff. Yep. And, uh, so, hey, you want to want to open up this real quick? You want to? I want to give him a tour. This has to be. Oh, you have to do this. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. So I should. Uh, it takes two people. There's no handles. Ready? So see, this is this is a real frame. This is serious. This is like it goes all the way around. Like it has a full tube tub. No, it's tub. custom. It's all homemade. So this thing. Uh, it's got the calipers, it's got the disc, but there's, there's nothing. It's all completely raw. Now, this here. Look at that. All the history of the car in the back. he got his whole, his little book, cheap book with all dimensions and everything in it. Yeah. And then I get a book here, exotic cars. I mean, the guy was into it, but too bad he... Anyway, yeah, that's some paperwork in here. Nothing. Yeah, so we're trying to get some kind of background on the car itself, but nothing in there. So one of my buddies, a good friend of mine, he owns Bernie's, Wally's, the Goats. He owns all the restaurants in Hampton. He tagged me in it, and he goes, this is right up your alley. So I instantly hit this guy up, and I, I like to take a look at it. And he goes, yeah, come on down. He goes, I got a lot of inquiries. So I says, I'm local. I got cash, and uh, let's talk. So he waited for me. I went and saw it, and uh, and I told him, I said, dude, this is raw. He goes, yeah, I know. And the guy knows nothing. Look at this here. Oh, yes. Yeah. Lift this spot up. So it's, it's, it's all there, but it's not all there. And it's got the dash. It's got the dash that's replicating a Lambo, not a Fiero. Yeah, go ahead. Look. Another 
no struts or anything. Man. No struts. Yeah. I'm just wondering where the kick came from. Um, yeah, and then the doors are just you know barely cut up. There's still done raw. Besides, there's those in here. Pulling all together. But yeah, you get the first first viewing. So yeah, we're just commenting now on this, the quality of it. It's got Corvette. So it's going to be very tedious to get all the parts. And these got to go. I hate these side. Oh, when the ETA of this build is going to be complete, obviously. Yeah, too big. Um, here's the back end view. So I, I'm either going to take my time and find parts um, or maybe turn it into a, a standalone racing sim that can be put on a trailer and brought to functions. Which I think is interesting. That, that way, I just all I got to do is deal with the body, deal with the computer, the functionality, the pedals, uh, the dashboard. I mean, fix the dashboard up. Do, do the interior like it was a real Lambo, running Lambo, but keep the windshield out and turn into a, a monitor setup. Yeah, so I could actually frame in a monitor that, you know, this whole thing closes and opens up. And, uh, yeah, and then there's, there's, there's no safety functions. There's, you know, you don't have to do wiring. You don't have to do any of that. So it could be it could be a very exotic racing sim. The thing is, you guys put it in the comments below about if that's something that you like, what you like better, the idea of actually making this car and restoring it, because a lot of people don't like the kit car concept for Lambo. Or making it into something that is um, like a video game setup where people can actually play a racing sim. He has a racing sim with him right. that he can just put right over into that system and play it. And it would look incredible, I think. I, I'm leaning more towards right. actually making the car because of it's been so far and it's got so much, I guess, history to it. Uh, but that's something that I can understand if somebody would resist. See the Corvette wheels? Yeah, right. And then I got and, – and what, a buddy of mine, you know Craig Teravinian? He said this is what stands it apart. These things come on and off. He goes, if they're, uh, they're a cheap mold, these are molded into the body. But these, these, these go, come on and off. And I got the wrong side. Yeah, I got the wrong one. I'm going to this. Hold on. Let me swap that out. That's the one. So this goes on, and it, I mean, it makes it really look wow. Anyway, so that's that. So yeah, I'm psyched. In everybody in the world, I've got guys offering me over ten grand for it already, and I'm like, yeah, I just want to sit tight on it right now because I don't know what it is actually worth. And that's what's pretty cool about this is being able to have something that is already getting in demand people love it it is a lot of input on it and that's that's a good thing you know now picture that parked next to those so we're going to see some of his other cars there's his delorean all polished up he's got a lot of really rare cars i'm not i'm not that far but it's come a long way So the DMC and needs a lot of work. This is my new toy. Done. This is a fun one. And that's a Bugatti. Let me. That's a Bugatti. Okay. Hold on. Let me just turn this on. And this is a uh, elite yeah. auto and detailing. This is kind of his shop, so you'll get a kind of a tour of it, which is yeah. cool. Yeah. So that we've was done a that nice before. Find that, some of the that's other got literally one mile on it. Yeah, <laughs> one mile. One. Mile. So this guy built this one, and uh, he, he built it 40 years ago. And as a matter of fact, I know the mechanic that helped build it. I used to work for them when I worked at Porsche. And uh, he hit me up the day after I bought it. And he goes, yeah, if you need help on it. He goes, I helped build it. I'm like, how the hell did you hear about it? He goes, dude, car guys stick together. Yeah. And you haven't seen it? New bike rack? No. So I got the four bikes, and then I had this guy over here. Colin, he's helping me, and he's one of my mechanics slash good friend. He actually, uh, I helped design the frame, and he fabricated it all for me. 
and those are all strapped down and tidy. So I've got eight motorcycles all in a plant of a small car. Isn't it? And here's my little CT190H, the DAX. That's a European. I got the two racing Aprilia scooters and then the Vespa. Yeah. Yeah. And then have you seen this one? So this, this, it's Henry Ford's manager's personal build. And I think there's only three in existence. I was told there's only three in existence. It's called a, it's a four door slant windshield. See the windshield, see how it cocks back? Well, they only built so many of those, but that's got a windshield that opens up and they did, the guy that built it, the manager of the, the, the manufacturing plant, deleted the sun visor. And that one's, that car's got 2,100 original miles. Well, that's it. Yeah. And then this, I don't know if you know about this, but I actually had this shipped to me from the state of Washington. Uh, that's a, that's a secondary a DeLorean, DeLorean engine that I just acquired shipped to me. So I get everything for that. Yep, and then this, I don't know if you've seen that. Yeah. So he really has expanded his collection. So see, that would be the oh, I have racing no grid right there. Hurry for the you remember this thing? So if I can, I could take and build another one of those and then plant it in that. That would that would make me giggle. Yeah, that's why I love you guys putting the comments to see which and one you like done better. Fun. See if you'd like to have it done back as a car or if it's done as a, a racing sim. And I and I have to give it to all my friends that reach out to me on the daily basis, and they keep tagging me in all these obscure cars. I personally have the time or effort to go and find them all. I just when I get a link and I click on it, and I, I it, it tickles my fancy. I seek out to purchase it. So. And that's yeah. So we talk here about his future plans, what he plans to do with the DeLorean, what he plans to do with the other car, and you know he's got such a cool obscure collection. It's. Really cool. I mean, they're going to come a point where he's just going to be a um, <laughs> like some sort of museum that is still does detailing and stuff out of his shop, and it looks amazing. I I hate that hood scoop. <laughs> I that that'd be the first things to go. But I you know what it is? There's so many angles. There's so many square lines in this car. To have a circular part on it, it's just hideous. If it's like an octagon, uh, it's got edge versus round. I, that might that might please me, but that's, that's what I'm thinking. And have actually fins on it, so just to make it look more eye appeal. So, but so I was agreeing. I think I have a good starter. I I think the base in the cage is, is the shell is really raw. It's yeah, I think it's a. And that's the thing I was agreeing that definitely take the scoop and give it make a new scoop for it. But uh but I like the idea that it has everything with it. Like it has the brakes and everything. It just needs a good engine in it. All right. Look at that frame, man. Yep, they are. Corvette So yes, yeah, so that was commenting on the Corvette. It's got yeah. I guess it has Corvette wheels and I'm guessing Corvette brakes on it. Uh, but obviously we've, I've never seen the car in person. I just kind of, we did this walk around real quick. Um, I do want to go up and actually check it out in person and see what, uh, what it looks like and kind of see it like up close and be able to really inspect it. Cause that's, that's very telling. The only thing I can say is the guy had passed away and the, and then I think, I think it's the son-in-law that actually I bought it from. So every, every question I asked, his answer was, I'm sorry, but I really don't have an answer. So, but it, you know, we have a little technical difficulties here with the connection. Right, right. <laughs> it looks like a Hot Wheels car. Yeah, it definitely looks Hot Wheelish. Well, you know what? I appreciate you uh, showing as much interest as, in it as as I am, and that to me means the world. Have at it. Any car you want, just uh, let me uh, turn on the camera and get you some footage, and it's all yours. So uh, this is me telling him we're going to go live with this and post it up later and show off the the car, which he was really huh? excited about. 
It's all yours. Just make sure you tag me. <laughs> we got to tag him. <laughs> so, yeah. So, if you get a chance, Prestige and Auto Elite all Detailing right. in New Hampshire. It's a great place to go. Check him out, and uh, and I'm sure he's going to have more stuff for us in the future. We can check it out back here on the channel. I'm really excited for where this will unfold, and I love uh, Dave. Dave's done great. You can check out our Instagram right, for more stuff from him, too. So, yeah, that was... <clears throat> I bet for lack of a better term, amazing. Like, can you imagine having somebody call you on the phone and say, you know, I got this old Countach body that that's put together and you know what? It, it's great. It's real metal. Uh, it's real metal. It's got a real frame uh, about the only thing that I see for it is the kind of the braking system that's on it. And it's got some Corvette wheels on it. So, so I decided to do a little bit of research on it and I'm seeing the, this is the frame of, the Lamborghini Countach and I'm not seeing a lot of differences between the frames it was funny because when I'm watching the video I'm like hey this thing looks really right and uh, and I've seen the undercarriage of a lot of Lamborghinis before uh, if you if you're aware the Countach the Mercy Lago and Diablo all kind of share the same kind of structure so kind of interesting to see them that way but that's the thing is is this this special kind of chassis that they have for the Countach is there so you can check out this picture i'm not sure we're going to get back to you later on this but if you guys out there see it i'd really like to know what kit car company built this vehicle and had some kind of history using real metal real frame it's really well done so if you know where this came from i want you to put that in the comments and somehow let us know i have never seen a kit car use real metal like that on a on a countach before so most of the ones i've seen or all the ones i've seen have been fiberglass so i don't know but we'll take a look at it and uh do some research like i said if you got any input shoot it our way let us know don't forget to like and subscribe we're going to keep up with this project. It's been interesting. Like, we haven't had a good project rebuild in forever, and every time we have one, it seems to get sabotaged by people. So, But anyway, so this time maybe we'll have something good, and I think, uh, hey, what's worse than a Lamborghini Countach? Or what's better than a Lamborghini Countach? Uh, I don't even know. So, And especially with the timing and being right off of its 50th anniversary, it's going to be a great year. I hope you guys tune in. Check out these other vehicle vehicles, videos, videos. That's what you're doing. Checking out videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. You have a great time. And we'll see you next time. Don't, as always, don't forget to drive.